spot, we begin with a deadly police shooting outside a mosque in Fort Lauderdale. Cops saying that's where they tracked down an armed and dangerous fugitive. Let's get right to local 10 news reporter Alex Finney live with our top story. Alex. Well, Nicole and Louie, fugitive on the loose, and it all ended here in Fort Lauderdale. It's our understanding that, according to police, that the man that they've been looking for apparently seriously injured a man and a woman just yesterday in Osceola County. And here is where it came to a screeching halt right off of Northwest 25th Avenue and Franklin Drive here in Fort Lauderdale. You can see that the scene has died down just a little bit since we last saw you guys, but the investigation still very much ongoing. I said, I've never seen this happen around here before, but you know what I'm just saying? I just woke up and I came outside and there it was. Authorities have identified the man shot and killed today as 57-year-old Hamid Old Roes. He was wanted for attempted murder out of Osceola County. A tip had come into the U.S. Marshal's office about a person wanted for attempted murder. That tip coming from Osceola County on Thursday. Officers from the Florida Regional Task Force located Roes in a parking lot in the 2000 block of Franklin Drive. He exited the vehicle and uh, brandishing a firearm. The task force members opened fire. Sky 10 capturing the entire scene from above as officers saturated this area and roped off several streets. The Masjid al Mosque is situated on the same block as where this shooting happened. At this hour, authorities don't believe the place of worship was involved. Obviously, it's under investigation. We do not believe that the mosque is involved in any way. Uh, nor, nor the subject with the mosque, but obviously th those are things that we need to, to, to look into. And, and it's going to take some time, folks. Thank you very much. All right, back out live here tonight. Plantation as well as Fort Lauderdale and a deputy with the U.S. Marshal's office involved in the shooting that happened here today. It is still unclear at this time as to exactly which officer fired that deadly shot. But what we can tell you is that all of the officers that were involved in what happened here just hours ago are all doing just fine. But of course, this is still a very much of a developing story, still a very fluid situation. As soon as I get an update from officials, I'll be sure to pass that along to you. But for now, that's the very latest live in Fort Lauderdale tonight. Alex Finney, Local 10 News.